Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic review of today's game. Uh, again, it's pre-season, um, so I'm not that... I'm concerned, I'm really concerned going into this, obviously, Champions League qualifier round 2 against Mitchell on Tuesday, I'm really concerned. But, frustrating is all I can say today as well, especially in the defence. Defensively, we're so lacking. Some of the youngsters today, their decision-making was poor. I know I can't judge them too much, they'll learn, so we're weak defensively, I'm hoping. It's very tall... It's a very tall ask to get two quality um, to defenders on, you know, it's really a big cast. You know, we hear Starfelt's overline, but as I said, guys, before we get it, please skim, like, recent voting time has been great. Shared about it as usual. Uh, the battling scares me a little bit for this. this uh, it, it, it emerging scares me a little bit. It, it, it does. It's going to be very hard to watch on Tuesday. I, I mean... We were way off it today, we looked way off it. Andrew's not been backed whatsoever heading into this Champions League qualifiers and Chris Sutton actually put it really, really nice in the Premier Sports. Uh, Ralston being the only senior right back at the club is nothing sort of incompetence from the board. Get signs in quickly. I mean, as I said there, Chris, Chris Sutton was putting great points in, into the, the when we were watching the game, uh, after the game as well. Um, we hear Starfield is a done deal, it's just getting the, the move, the, the pen to paper basically. Um, but he won't include. He won't be included in the Champions League squad for this round two, um, so it's a bit of pointless. But you know, if we get a centre back in, it's great. But we need. We need. We're lacking so much depth. Um, not agree at all with such a massive watch match. Sorry, on Tuesday. Hopefully, we can get things up about ten gears. Hopefully, I'm just hopefully. Not a great performance, but good to see fans back. I like that. I like. I like. You know, I like to bring it into the 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 conversation, guys. Into um, conversation into the review of this game because um, I was planning on just taking a week on off for the videos and stuff, but I thought you know I need to take this video, I need to take this this um, you know um, I this chance to discuss what's I'm very worried about Celtic in this matter because you know people might comment on this video saying or think you know it's only a pre season why are you get this well why are you you know saying all these things well the reason I'm saying all these things is because you know. We played a good championship side, you know, pressing aren't any, you know, rip off sides and going into a Michelin game where they're you know, they're no, you know, pub team, you know, they're a very good side. Um, got in the Champions League last season, um, although they didn't do well, they got into the Champions League. Um and you know, I our club Celtic is um very unprepared and just threw Ange Postcog into this situation where he has to play a defence where you've got Azazi or Degidi, you try to play that right centre back role, it's never going to work in a million. It's never going to work. You can see it right away. He's trying so hard. He's trying, but it's not going to work. He's not that. He's not. He's not got the strength on him. I know he's young, and I can't say too much. It's like really his first game at Parkhead, but still, you know, we're weakened. You know, Welsh he did well coming at the end of the last season, but still young, and he's still not that hundred percent. You know, um, you know, the top players today in this the. The game today in the preseason was Bobby Barkas or Zand Postcock comes and Barky pulled off good two two good two saves. And I think the problem going into the second half was also we switched keeper up. No injury there. It's just you know deciding what keepers going. I'm definitely sure he's going to do. He's going to play Barkas and Tuesday night. Well, I'll do a preview anyway, guys, on the Monday anyway. But I'm pretty sure he's going to play Barkas and Tuesday night because Bain, he's not even a, he's not a good. I'm, I mean, so I'm no offense, Bain, but he's not the best keeper in the world. The passes he made from the back were very dangerous. Probably cost the penalty. To be honest, one of the passes and Preston got it. And even though it was a, it was it was never a penalty a million years. You know, you still caused that situation where you know the, you asked the referee the decision. Uh, the penalty was really good, but Abada when he came on the party looked solid. Um, you know, a couple of good passes into Edward, a couple of good wee skills and stuff. But again, it's you know you only seen about ten minutes of him. You know, you need to see a full ninety minutes or something. But well, the question is, will he see, will we see him playing Tuesday night? I don't know, potentially on the bench, but I see we need to start him on Tuesday night, to be honest, because to me, the commentators put it right as well, and Chris Sutton put it as well, he's match ready. He's not any of the nonsense that Lennon puts out saying, no, he's not match ready. This guy's match ready, Abada. Um, you know, he looks, he looks, he put a cross in, I thought, a Celtic player should have been there, and it should have, and it potentially made it work, maybe worked as a goal. Um, Moffat was decent today, I thought. Um, you know, you can't say really much about a youngster again. Uh, Roderick, when he came on, you know, had his, you know, Wizard of Oz feats of part of the, you know, the end of the game. 
Um, but we're struggling at the back. If we don't correct uh, that situation big time, overall, it was just a sloppy performance, different from what we had seen from the start of the preseason. Keep the faith. I will say this, keep the faith. It's going to take time. We need more players to fit Ange Postcoglu's style. Right. I did see Timo Hammers just now, and I see Michelin going to do it in Tuesday night. I really do. Michelin must be doing this sitting back and relaxing. Even though they lost their opening game of the season, people might be saying the most optimistic people in the world. Well, you know, M M Michelin lost the first game of the season, you never know. That doesn't, it doesn't make, form going into a Champions League qualifier, sometimes it does matter, but for Michelin going to sell, going first in Celtic, it's not going to matter. It is not. A decent team, as I said, they're all hammers now. A right, a right back, a left back, um, a centre half, a left wing, and a CDM and a centre forward. It's the absolute minimum required. I know we signed the the Japanese boy, but we well, haven't seen it in him yet. You know, obviously he scored um, his last game for the club the uh, this morning. It was a good be goal. Seen nothing, but that isn't a good team. You know what I mean? It's a team that's experienced compared to going into a Celtic side where we lack we lack depth at all. Um, it gives us a i seen nothing in that game today that gives me any hope for Tuesday night. I, 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 it just goes into that mark well. Um, that I cannot see Celtic beating a, a, a good Michelin side. Um, it looks, you know, hopefully that gets us some breakthrough players in the coming years of youth players that I've seen today, what, right, what I watched. However, we still have a lot to work doing our first team. I'm quite happy with the addition of two wingers coming, coming uh, strikers. Uh, you know, we've obviously seen a badder play today. We're seeing the Japanese boy coming in very shortly, uh, Furuhashi. But we still need a, an out and out goal scorer and striker. A midfield for me only needs two players: an enforcer and a playmaker. A defence on the other hand needs a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. Bloody a demolition and a rebuilding man. That, that, basically, that's what it is. Um, we need a left back, a right back, as I said, maybe even two and two centre halves, uh, even more. Um, we also need a goalkeeper. I feel. I mean, Barkas is there. He made pulls off a, good, a couple of good saves today. Um, he's also going to try and make himself the first choice keeper on the range. Post a new era, a new start. Hopefully, he does. But I think we need a, a backup keeper because Bain, if you if you if you see B B Barkas picking up, he's easily picking up injuries. You've got Bain. You know, it's not what you want to see. It's not what you like hear. You know your substitute keeper, your your goalkeeper on the bench, which is supposed to be the second best goalkeeper in your squad. And Payne isn't really; he is not. You know you can say that, but Barkas, but Barkas is you know he's he's a lot. I say a lot better than and um, what do you call it? Um, Payne. Um, will we be allowed? Uh, will we be allowed to go on out and recruit all those needed though? Barkas, Ralston, Johnson. I feel I feel Ralston and Johnson. I think their time's up at Celtic. I think Ralston, he's been given a chance. Johnson as well. I feel that they just need. To, I just I don't feel that they're going to excel at Celtic anymore. I mean, you see Johnston the other day. I picked up another injury. I mean, he signed a five-year contract. He's hardly played for Celtic since then at all. I mean, yeah. Um, they don't look up to playing for Celtic, and I don't really instill any confidence in them to be honest. Um. It worries me that we get reports that we're about to announce signings immediately and if two or three days later we still haven't announced them. I mean, it was probably late, late Wednesday night going into Thursday. Um, we were hoping that Starfelt signed so we could have a, a decent centre-back in for the Champions League game. We're not now. No. My worries are very getting high now. Um, the signing the Japanese felt is a way that it should be done. No, new, new, no, new, no news leaks. No info. Just announce the signing. I like that. Wake up in the morning, you got to be, you know, you, you know, you're happy. Celtic have signed someone. Do you know what I mean? I think we're we are still far short of being a good first team, but I'm prepared to accept you can't transform the team into a week uh, or not a week or two. You know, you just can't you can't do that. It's impossible. You, you can't you can't transform a, a team which has been her horrific, uh, horrific, horrific last season, um, absolute appalling last season to. The greatest team on earth in Scotland. You can't just do that in a week or two, no. However, I really, really hope we do get our fingers out uh, over our defensive weaknesses. I really do, and we get some defensive players in. I really do because I know again it's a pre-season game. The struggles are there. Welsh getting caught up on, on the Sinclair chance. 
any day of the week, if it was a European game, potentially it was a Tuesday night game, Welsh could have given away a penalty. You know, I know Scott Sinclair's seven feet and got the shot away, Barca saved it, but it was a good save. Any day of the week, if another defender does, uh, another striker does feel that contact and Welsh does, you know, wins the ball but gets the player and he goes down. Um, it's a penalty all day long and the European referee will give that. And it feels to me that Mitchell and they're going to have a, a field day with us on Tuesday night if we don't get our act today out. Depending on the team on Tuesday night, I feel it might not matter because I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to leave it here, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, uh, I've just discussed about what we for this season. The board need to get their finger out and let Ange Postecoglou get some new signings in the park. You know what we've seen, a badder. That's the first real sign I think Ange Postecoglou's had a, a big deal in. Um, maybe a Zaze a wee tiny bit. I mean, Starfelt. I think yeah, a lot of Ange Postecoglou's done, but the Japanese boy, yes, we should that market, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I hope the Celtic board do give and Postco the money to get some good, decent players into the into, into a Celtic team because we're we're going to get hammered. Any decent team will hammer us this season now. Your looks away now, the 17th of recording this. We're only two weeks away from Celtic's opening game of the season against Hearts at Tynecastle. Hearts are not any mug team. They, they will, they're a very good side. At least, good side. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, uh, my discussions are Celtic at this point after this game against Preston. Um, as I'll, I'll leave you on a happy point. You know, good to see Celtic getting uh, Celtic fans be back at Parkhead. Fingers crossed, I'm at the Michelin game. Well, I don't see Celtic get hammered if I'm at the Michelin game, you know. Um, but fingers crossed, I'll be back at Parkhead. Uh, I'll do the usual, you know, film it. Um, uh, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Share the video as per usual. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a, um, a video very shortly. Probably Monday for the preview of the Champions League qualifier against Michelin. Until then, guys, see you next time.